in the vineyard, taking some grapes, hand harvesting the grapes. <laughs> There's actually no grapes on here. Hi everybody, it's Jen from Vine Styles. I hope you're doing well and that you're staying safe. Uh, today we're going to just be trying a, a bunch of different backgrounds. Would it be with the barrels? I know we're doing a white wine, but the only pictures I have are of red grapes. Okay, hey, we're back. This time without a background so that you can actually see what we're tasting today. All right, so today we're gonna to be trying the Wale uh, Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley. Well, first of all, it's a customer favorite. Um, we get a lot of requests for this one. It is from a smaller commune called Wesley, uh, O-I-S-L-Y, but the winemakers actually decided to call it Wally, uh, just so that it's a little bit easier on the English speaking market uh, because we couldn't pronunciate the other one. And obviously that's true because I still can't pronunciate it. It is uh, actually made from a cooperative that's from that area. So it's in the Touraine region and hopefully I'll throw up a map. I just drew it up right now because I love you guys, okay? So this is my janky map. This is supposed to be the Atlantic uh, Ocean over here where my finger is. And this is the Natchene area. Uh, next to it is Anjou Samar, and then you move over into the terrain region. So this area over here is really interesting because this is where this wine comes from. It's actually like an hour away from Bouveret. See up here that that's Bouveret, and then Huele is uh, just right here. So there you go. The two main red grapes that are planted in uh, the Loire Valley are Cabernet Franc and Pinot Noir. And the white grapes that are famous for uh, the Loire Valley are Chenin Blanc and Muscadet, which is the closest to the, the Atlantic Ocean. And then uh, further inland, you actually get your Sauvignon Blancs. Yay! And you have your other appellations there, like your Sancerre, your Pouli Fumé. But then if you're in that uh, terrain region, you definitely have uh, some of this Wale as well. So another fun, cool thing. They have been working since the 1950s as a cooperation, and they try to um, work with the grower so that it's uh, a good industry for growers as well as just people that sell the wine. The Wali is made in a traditional sense from the Loire Valley, so it's going to undergo uh, a very gentle press in the winery uh, to make sure that it doesn't break the pips or the seeds, which extract a little bit of like a bitter, like phenol sort of um, taste to it. So this is going to be done very delicately. And that's why the Sauvignon Blancs from this region are really super tasty. But these wines also have a great minerality as well. On with the tasting. Oh man, I wish that I could pour this with my cool background. It's magic, it's a disappearing wine. Look, and it's, it is a disappearing wine. It is disappearing from my glass. But then you guys won't be able to see the pouring or the color. Check out that color. So that looks like a just a regular pale lemon in the glass. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's go on. So here's a quick thing to talk about uh, the punchiness. When I talk about the punchiness or the aromatics, how intense is that the aromatics on a wine? If you're able to smell it from here, that's gonna be a very aromatic uh, wine. Wines like that tend to be Sauvignon Blanc or Muscat, something like that, yeah. So this one is a higher intensity of aromas. So I can smell it fairly well from here, but I'm gonna go in for a deep whiff, whiff. 
Ooh, la, 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 la. Okay, so I'm getting notes of that gooseberry. I get a little bit of a green note to it. I don't wanna say a tomato leaf because it's not like a bitter uh, leafy note. It's more like a green bell pepper note to it. That grapefruit, a little bit of the grapefruit pith and that lemon pith note to it. Some flowers on there. Yeah, okay, so it is very um, kind of zesty on that nose and fresh. I feel zesty and I feel fresh. Yeah, kind of just an easy, good summer wine. Mm. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so on the palate, oh, I'm still drilling. So good acidity. So it's a brighter wine. Um, good acidity in there. It has notes of that gooseberry sort of note again, that grapefruit note, but I get a really neat um, kind of like a green pear or like a yellow apple, but a, like a green pear. I'm getting more of a chalkiness, so a little bit more mineral in there. It is so nice. I'm trying to think of other notes to bring, like to come up with it, but it's not. And I appreciate that because it's just so simple, easy drinking wine. You know, you don't have to go too deep in it. It's something that you can pair really easy. Right off the bat, I would do Thai or something gingery, something spicy. Uh, it could go with chicken, like seafood or cheeses. Oh, it's so nice. It is so good. Okay, so that's the tasting, guys. Yay! 25% uh, off for this really super crushable Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley. It's going to be different to your uh, New Zealand style of Sauvignon Blanc, where those styles are going to be a little bit more juicy. This one is going to be a little bit more mineral. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, take care guys, bye.